Meet the Brady family, a household with six kids, a housekeeper, and two caring parents. The Brady Bunch, a TV series from 1969, brought laughter, lessons, and a whole lot of nostalgia to homes across the nation. Have you ever thought about the first time you tuned in to the Brady family's antics? Picture it the laughter, the quirky characters, and the memorable theme song that stays with us. Now there's more to the Brady Bunch than meets the eye. As you keep watching, get ready for a roller coaster of funny, surprising, and even sad facts about this classic show. But before we dive in, we want to hear from you. Do you have a personal story about how this TV series impacted your life? Or can you recall the exact moment you first caught an episode? Hold on to your seat because there's a lot more to come, and we want to know your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Brady Bunch. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Keep watching for more surprising tidbits about The Brady Bunch, the show that became a timeless classic for generations. Step back into the groovy era of 1969, where a beloved TV series, The Brady Bunch, took center stage. Imagine the anticipation as families gathered around their television sets, eagerly tuning in to meet a charming household with six kids, a housekeeper, and two caring parents. It was more than just a show. It became a cultural phenomenon, bringing laughter, life lessons, and a wave of nostalgia to homes across the nation. As the catchy theme song filled living rooms, viewers found themselves captivated by the quirky characters and the endearing dynamics within this family. The show, with its relatable humor and timeless charm, quickly became a part of the hearts of audiences, offering more than just entertainment. The significance of the Brady Bunch lies not just in its humor, but also in its ability to navigate the complexities of family life. In an era marked by societal shifts and cultural changes, the show reflected the evolving dynamics of American households. It skillfully blended humor with genuine moments, creating a connection that resonated with viewers. But there's more to this classic show than meets the eye. As you journey down memory lane, be prepared for surprising and heartwarming facts about the Brady Bunch. The anecdotes and behind-the-scenes glimpses will add a new layer of appreciation for the show that has become a cherished part of television history. Now, before delving deeper into the fascinating world of The Brady Bunch, we want to hear from you. Do you have a personal story about how this TV series impacted your life? Can you recall the exact moment you first caught an episode? Share your cherished memories and experiences in the comments below. Your stories are an integral part of the collective nostalgia surrounding The Brady Bunch. So, buckle up and get ready for more surprising tidbits about the show that transcended its time to become a timeless classic for generations. In the world of the Brady Bunch, one interesting aspect stands out Carol Brady, a main character, is notably absent from episode titles. Unlike her counterparts, her name never appears in the show's narrative headers. The show's theme song, a catchy tune ingrained in the memories of viewers, originally belonged to the Peppermint Trolley Company. However, an unexpected on-set moment involving Christopher Knight led to a significant change. From the second season onward, the Brady Kids took center stage, singing the theme themselves. A yearly tradition followed, rearranging and re-recording the famous tune, creating a dynamic connection between the cast and the show's musical identity. Sherwood Schwartz, the creative force behind the Brady Bunch, drew inspiration from real-life events within the cast. The intricacies of the characters' traits mirrored the actors' own personalities. When conflict unfolded between Jan and Marcia, it wasn't just scripted drama. It reflected real-life tensions between Eve Plum and Maureen McCormick. Similarly, when Barry Williams immersed himself in music, it was a nod to his off-screen persona. In the Brady Bunch's world, reality and fiction intertwine, adding depth to the characters and their interactions. The show, beyond its funny exterior, reflects the genuine experiences of its cast. As viewers explore the Brady family's world, they encounter a story crafted from the threads of reality and entertainment. In one memorable episode of The Brady Bunch, titled Where There's Smoke, Greg's friend Tommy hands him a carton of cigarettes, reassuring him with the words, "Hey." They're just regular cigarettes, man. The irony lies in the fact that Barry Williams, who portrayed Greg, later confessed in his autobiography, Growing Up Brady, that he was actually under the influence of marijuana during the filming. Interestingly, the Brady kids didn't always fancy the wardrobe choices imposed on them. They sought more fashionable attire, but producer Sherwood Schwartz turned down their request, anticipating the show's syndication and aiming to avoid dated fashions. 
However, the show ironically ended up being a humorous time capsule of 70s fashion, from Carol's flip mullet hair to Greg's Native American-esque poncho tops. The timeless characters of Alice and Sam, though, remained untouched by the fashion faux pas. Despite being a family-oriented show, The Brady Bunch addressed the topic of sex only three times throughout its entire run. Greg, Mike, and Cousin Oliver were the unlikely characters to utter the word in episodes like The Grass is Always Greener, Is There a Doctor in the House, and The Hairbrained Scheme from the first and final seasons, respectively. The show's wardrobe choices and occasional ventures into taboo topics provided a unique dynamic to the seemingly idyllic Brady family. These behind-the-scenes glimpses add layers of complexity to the show's outwardly wholesome facade, making it all the more intriguing for audiences. During its run, the detective series Mannix, which aired from 1967 to 1975, made an unexpected connection with the Brady Bunch. The Brady House set was borrow wood for several Mannix episodes, and Robert Reed, who played the mild-mannered Mike Brady in The Brady Bunch, took on a recurring role as Lieutenant Adam Tobias in 22 episodes of Mannix. This overlap occurred during the same period from 1969 to 1974, and both series were produced by Paramount Studios. In 2012, there were plans to breathe new life into the Brady Bunch with a reboot spearheaded by actor Vince Vaughn in collaboration with Sherwood Schwartz. However, despite efforts, this revival never materialized, leaving fans without a modern take on the classic family sitcom. The Brady family's fictional address was 4222 Clinton Way, and their telephone number 762-799 was mentioned sporadically in the series. Interestingly, the specific city or community where they lived was never disclosed, adding an air of mystery to their Southern California setting. These lesser-known facets offer a glimpse into the broader world surrounding the show, showcasing unexpected connections with other TV series and the unrealized attempts at a contemporary revival. In the midst of the Brady family's apparently perfect image, the show faced some potential problems. Robert Reed, who played Mike Brady, had ongoing disagreements with the producers, which could have led to him being removed before the sixth season. Sherwood Schwartz thought about replacing or removing Mike Brady if the conflicts escalated. During the first season, there was an unexpected event. The family dog, Tiger, had an accident and died before episode 5 was finished. Attempts to find a replacement for Tiger didn't work, so they kept the original doghouse on the set. Interestingly, it became useful after a studio light accident, covering up a burned spot on the astroturf. Braces became a common thing among the cast members. Susan Olson, Maureen McCormick, Eve Plum, and Mike Lookinland all had braces at different times. Marsha's dental journey even became the focus of an episode called Brace Yourself. The cast's real-life experiences were subtly included in the show, creating a special connection between the characters and the actors' off-screen lives. In a memorable episode titled Where There's Smoke, Barry Williams, who played Greg, admitted to using marijuana during filming. The Brady Kid's fashion choices clashed with producer Sherwood Schwartz's vision, resulting in a snapshot of 70s fashion. Surprisingly, the show tackled taboo topics like sex only three times throughout its run, mentioned by Greg, Mike, and Cousin Oliver. There was an unexpected connection with the detective series Mannix, which used the Brady House set. Robert Reed, as Mike Brady, took on a recurring role as Lieutenant Adam Tobias in Mannix episodes. Attempts to bring back the Brady Bunch in 2012, led by Vince Vaughn and Sherwood Schwartz, were not successful. The family's fictional address was 4222 Clinton Way, set in a mysterious Southern California location. The phone number, 762-799, occasionally mentioned, added an interesting layer to their world. Navigating through unforeseen challenges and behind-the-scenes revelations, the Brady Bunch, though a classic, shows a dynamic interaction between fiction and reality. The show's lasting impact goes beyond its on-screen moments, creating a captivating story with unexpected connections and untold stories.